go through the plants, check the stems, the bottom leaves, every details, and also take the plants out and check the soil. Let me see this one. Squeeze the planter, and then you can take the whole piece out easily and then turn it all the way around to see whether there is any bugs or nest of the bugs. If you find them, remember I shared a video about how to deal midi bugs. One thing you can use is the soap water. This is the safer one and normally you wouldn't damage your plant. Another one I use is alcohol. It is stronger than soap water, but it's more effective. And the portion is important too. I normally do is this is around 70% alcohol inside. I would have like 10 millimeter of the alcohol, add another like five times of water. alcohol in, and then spray at the spot where there is problem for example mealy bugs like this guy here there is mealy bug so i would just spray on you can see the color is changing check my video and then you will find more information about how to deal mealy bugs how to fertilize your plants everything anything let's have a closer look look at the yellow color thing that is actually mealy bugs after I spray the alcohol water on, then they show their body. Look, ah, yuck. Look at here, this little yellow one. Our college greenhouse has loads of plants, but we do have a problem is, uh, I don't know when we started to have problem with these mealy bugs. Once there is one plant with mealy bugs, loads of plants would get involved because mealy bugs, they love eat the tender plants. Look at here. Ah, the other angle. Ooh. For these plants, you need to isolate them from others as well. Put them in quarantine for around like one week treat them three days at least once a day if you use alcohol water i would say like uh, once a day if you use soap water maybe three times a day it depends on what's handy for you for this planter the pot i will dump it because you see on the surface the white color thing it is actually the nest of mealy bugs you definitely don't want to use them anymore and the earlier you dump it, the safer it will be. Look what I find. I've checked the first plant and I found a slug. Woo! To go through your new purchase plant, uh, also will give you bonus and surprise. Look at this Achivaria. Because this plant is planted next to an Achivaria, that's why it's propagated on the surface of this soil. Look how many more there are. Look at this beauty. Look at the color. I love it. It would be a beautiful, beautiful bride bouquet. What do you think? And then the bonus for me is here. Look here. There is a propagate pickle plants in. Look, amazing. And uh, let's turn around because I found another surprise. Here, you see, there is a watch chain. Look, that is the fun part of buying new succulents. It's not only like uh, new plants, new variety. I have all of these, uh, but I just uh, wanted to have more. I think we are all the same. Another thing about succulents is look how shallow the roots are. That's why I told you, you don't need to really have a deep, deep plant. For the third plant, I found an adult mealy bugs. 
This is the one we we'll lay eggs, loads of eggs. Just get it and then kill it. Pinch easily. Use a piece of paper. Oh, it's running. Ow. I just don't want to touch it with my finger. That's why I always wear gloves. So this crested topsy turvy. Look how beautiful it is. What I need to do is uh, get rid of these dead leaves at the bottom. Otherwise, they fall onto the surface. Uh, it would compose a really nice stuff for whatever pest. So her, she has a couple problem. The first one is weeds. Look here, this side, and then here, and also this side. Look at this big one I just pulled out. These baby plants are the favorite of mealy bugs. If they come and eat these babies, they will eventually invade the plant. Another problem is, uh, look at the roots. They are growing crazy. That means this plant is small. So we need to change a bigger one. Otherwise, it will just restrict it from growing. Look at this one here. The plant is beautiful, but there is a huge mealy box hiding. It's pretending like, yeah, you cannot see me, but yes, I do. Wow, it's moving too. Have a look. Ugh, scary, isn't it? In that situation, I will just uh, go through the whole pot soil and make sure there is no more hiding. And then I found this slug. Look. Ooh, this sedum, Aurora blue. Obviously, you can see the pot is too small. The plant is getting bigger and bigger and then the roots grow out. Sometimes these are also the air roots because the soil is too dry. Look at the soil. Obviously, it's quite white, so it's not really the dry problem. So it is because it's overgrown out of the planter and the stem couldn't get enough water. That's why these roots grow.